Hello, I am back, and today guys, it's a bit of a different vlog, it's more about a little bit of history, and I brought you down to this location here in Scotland to show you what's left of what used to be a, a once massive factory. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it in the video right now. So that's how it used to look, and shortly I'll show you what it looks like now, today. Right, so let's pop across the road and I'll give you a look. So guys, this place has a... This place has operated under a royal charter since 1773, which was granted by King George III. What I'm about to show you is a part of a, a cylinder the very famous uh, inventor, James Watt's first ever steam engine. Because James Watt, although one of these handles is missing, quite like the design of that, it's lovely. He worked with this company and they built uh, the cylinder for his first steam engine. This is one of two that were used at the Battle of Waterloo. The Duke of Wellington must have looked at these during his uh, onslaught, victorious onslaught. <laughs> and uh, the Cannon Works actually produced a new cannon called the Carronade. And that word was uh, added to the English language. This here is actually part of the the blast furnace used at Carn Company. It's quite a nice bit of building this guys, but it's very little of what was originally here. To each side of this column is a massive, massive building going virtually the full length of the street. It's a nice view of the, the gates. So yeah, James Watt, who would have thought? <laughs> There's the clock. Quite like that as well. It's really nice how we've got the three cannons crossed over. Esto perpetua, which is Latin for let it be perpetual. Right, so, there was your look. God, winds make my eyes water. So, anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, until next time, this is Pajerico, signing off.